Hi everyone. Um, so today I'm going to teach you guys a bit about how to structure your vocal warm-ups. Um, so whenever you are going to do a practice session, remember you always want to warm up your voice and your body before you begin practicing. Um, and so remember your voice, your vocal folds, your instrument, that's a part of your body. So that's why we do physical stretches, um, to get everything nice and warmed up. Um, and then you always want to do your vocal warm-ups, um, so that you remember your vocal folds are all made of little muscles. Um, so you need to warm up those little muscles, um, before you try to do some like really, um, strenuous practicing or singing so that you don't injure your voice. So, um, when you're doing your warm-ups, um, you, the first thing that I usually start with, um, so this is just going to be how I structure my warm-ups, um, is, but so the first thing I usually start up with is a physical warm-up. Um, so a physical warm-up could be anything from doing some basic stretches, like we, like, I do with my students in class every day. Um, you could also do some jumping jacks. You could do some yoga. I love doing yoga before I practice. Um, really like loosens everything up and makes you feel really, really nice. And it will also help a lot with your posture. Um, shake a little bit, dance a little bit, um, do something to just get your blood pumping and get your muscles nice and warmed up um, before you begin your practice session. The next thing that um, is a really good thing to do and what I usually do when I'm warming up is you want to do some breathing exercises. So obviously breathing is very important when you are singing. <laughs> um, your breath supports everything that you're doing. Um, when you're singing, it creates all of the sound, it controls your volume. Um, so it's really, really important to exercise those muscles. It's like do sit-ups to get abs. And honestly, actually doing sit-ups will help you with your breathing when you're singing. So that's actually not a bad thing to do. Um, but so doing some breathing exercises to exercise those specific muscles um, is always a really good uh, way to begin your practice session. Um, so one thing that you could do for breathing exercises is you could honestly just do some simple slow breathing, do some yoga breathing. Um, you can also do things like breathing in for four beats, hold it for four beats, and then exhale for four beats, just regular exhale, or you could exhale on a hiss, a tss sound. Um, and then as you do that, you can increase the time that you are breathing out, go up four to eight to 12 to 16. Um, and then you could even go past that and see how long you can um, hold, extend your breath for. Um, <laughs> that's my cat. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, what? I'm recording a video, so I'm complaining. Dude. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, and so as you're doing that, if you're exhaling out on a hiss, um, what you want to make sure to do is... Um, try to use all of your air in those, you're starting with four counts, and I know that you obviously can't go for more than four counts, but try to force yourself to use all of your air in those four counts. And then same thing when it goes up to eight, use it all in those eight, use it all in those 12, because that helps you learn how to um, control the pacing of how you're letting out your breath. Um, and it will give you more control over that when you're singing. Um, a lot of these breathing exercises can also be very anxiety calming, which is um, very great. And so can the yoga if you do that for your physical warm up. And that's really great for right now in this quarantine. Um, <laughs> we're all having a lot of anxiety. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do for your warm ups um, that I usually do is what are called vocal eases. Um, so vocal eases are basic types of warming up your voice and they're usually just done with various vowel sounds um or just various sounds that you make with your voice they're not necessarily um any specific words um so things like this could be um anything to your lip trills that 
you can do those um or you can just sing things like um you could also hum um or do things like louie leo louie leo lou or so there are lots of different exercises and the ways that the vowels and the consonants form in your mouth um, that can help you work on different things. Um, I will be posting video later at some point getting more into detail for each of these um, sections of the warm up. This is just an overview of how to structure things. Um, okay, so that was vocal eases. So that should be the first part of your vocal warm up. Um, and then something that should be a part of your vocal warm up as well are diction exercises. Um, so that can be anything from you could do like tongue twisters that don't have any pitch, just like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, stuff like that. Um, or you can do things like um, like vocal warm ups that we do. Mommy made me mash my M and M, so my. Or the alphabet, or a unique New York, or. Bumblebee, 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 bumblebee. Things like that um, are getting different. Each one has different consonants that they're working on. Um, so doing a few of those in your vocal warm up is good. Um, and it's really great to do a few things from each section um, when you're doing your warm ups. If you're doing like an extended warm up, really spend some time on your warm ups. That's when you're building lots of your. Um, skills that you're then going to apply to your songs that you're working on. Um, okay, so then after I do diction exercises, I'm sorry, my cat is meowing so much. I don't know what she wants. Um, but so then spend some time in your diction. Um, and then the last thing that I usually do as a part of my vocal warm up is range extension. Um, so these are usually extended warm ups that cover an octave or more. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's to extend your range. So the goal is to go all the way up to the very tippy top of your range to see and how high you can really sing. And the more you do that, you will slowly push and your range will extend and become larger. Um, so these can be like things like the Alleluia or sing ah. Those are all examples of range extensions that cover a long range of your voice um, and again I will be doing individual videos on each of these sections of building your warm-ups um, teaching you guys some examples of the exercises you can do in each section in detail and talking through exactly what skills they work on so you know which warm-ups you can use depending on what songs you intend to practice. If you know you're struggling with breath support in one song, you could spend more time on your breathing section. Um, and so I'll go through stuff like that for each one. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. That's most of what I wanted to say about warmups. Um, so you can use this again, just overview of all of the sections. It was start with a physical warm up. Then go to breathing exercises. And you want to do some vocal eases. Remember, you start off nice and soft. Um, so the vocal eases are um, all of your vocal exercises that are on vowels with just random consonants um, to start warming up your voice. Um, and then you want to do some diction ex exercises, so tongue twisters or warm ups with words um, that will really get everything moving and get your diction going um, and then you want to do some range extensions so working on long warm-ups that will extend your upper and lower range um, slowly as you do them over time um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave any comments below if you have questions um, or if there's anything you want to see more videos of you know, love you guys. I hope you're surviving this quarantine. <laughs>